sir. That was a hole in one, baby. <laughs> What's up? It's Eric. I'm out here with the new tracks of Sledge and also the X Max. Hopefully, I better run both of these rigs. Uh, the first batch for this thing, I had a total blast. This truck took a lot more than I expected to be bone stock. It did bend the chassis just a little bit, but the biggest downfall, in my opinion, was the motor mount. Because uh, the motor mount and center and diff are not connected for one, so if you have any kind of severe flex, it's, it's also pulling your pinion and spur apart. So it's just not a, it's not very good for the, to keep that solid mesh going. But M2C Racing is on it to make an up, a solid upgrade for that, along with the chassis and some other upgrades. First of all, I want to give a huge shout out to HRB for sending out these batteries to try. This is a 6S pack, 5200 milliamp, 100C, a super nice battery, and also these new 4S packs right here. These are 9500 milliamp. Uh, 120C should pack loads of punch. These things are reinforced with aluminum plate. It's supposed to help with the overall durability of the battery and also heat dissipation. It's a whole new design. It's got this nice uh, carbon fiber looking wrap right here so it shouldn't bust apart. Really nice batteries. I'm gonna try those out in the X-Max if I get time. So again, big shout out to a HRB. On the inside of the sledge here is still all stock except I did go to a 46 tooth spur from the stock uh, 52 tooth. I did order a few of them just in case I shatter another one and I got this motor mount locked down the best I could. I'm running a 15 tooth pinion this time uh, down from the 17 that I ran with the stock gearing with the stock spur. So we're gonna see how that does uh, with the heat and stuff. I'm still running the back flips on here. I did go to the M2C Universal Hexes plus five millimeter. Uh, this is just temporary. It does have a little bit of play in it, but I just wanted to run these back flips to get a little extra width out of the truck. M2C does plan on making an actual uh, hex for this truck so you can run the stock tires as well. So be looking forward to that in the future. But for now, I'm just gonna try these out, see how she does. It does give her a little bit wider stance. You know, again, 10, uh, 10 millimeters altogether. Again, this HRB battery, 5200 milliamp, 100 C. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of a short pack, it's super fat, so I had to turn it in here sideways and then put a piece of foam right here. So you got the stock foam up there, then another piece of foam right here to lock it in. But it fit in very nice. Again, I'm running a 1546 gearing. We'll see how she does. Oh, oh man, this thing about this. Oh man, she almost went in that drain too. That would have been a hole in one. <laughs> yes, sir. That was a hole in one, baby. <laughs> Let me fish this sucker out. Guys, I'm gonna stop and check the temps real quick. Been running it pretty hard. I still feel like she's lacking some some speed and power, but it's probably got something to do with that stock ESC. <clears throat> I'll probably be putting in a uh, Max Six here soon. That should definitely wake it up. All right. I only got one about 150 on the motor. 126 on that side. Not sure if I'm even catching this. 89 degrees. Yeah, I could probably gear up some more. I mean, that's, that's not bad at all for driving pretty hard.
ramp saver. Oh, man. Uh, front one. And I do not have a replacement. <laughs> that sucks. I found some rear arms, but no front ones. Well, wait a minute. Looks like the arm is okay. It just uh, completely sheared off the hinge pin. Yeah, I might be able to stick an arm and hinge pin in there if it's the same size. We'll see what we can do. All right, guys, got her hooked up with an arm and hinge pin. Fit right in, perfect savior. So uh, let's uh, send her to the moon. I love landing on those down slopes. Thing is, I just can't see it. Oh man, I hope she didn't land over here. Look at all these crazy crevasses right here. This is insane. I've had so much crazy rain here lately, it just carves out freaking tunnels. Oh yeah, she's good. Hey guys, it's a little rough over here. <laughs> Oh. Oh, that was not a good landing. That was a mega smack to the rear end. All right, guys, that's gonna be it on the sledge right now on that last jump where I tagged that lid pretty hard in the rear end. It uh, flexed the arm enough to pop the drive shaft out. So I'm gonna have to order some uh, drive shafts for this thing, but this thing is still a whole lot of fun and still blown away by the overall durability uh, other than that hinge pin that busted. Uh, this thing is just a tank and the uh, motor mount issue. As far as the chassis, it is just a little bit bent, but it's not bad considering what this truck has taken. So I'm not gonna complain a whole lot. But again, my biggest issue is the motor mount. I did lose a screw right there. Uh, but MTC Racing is gonna be making an awesome motor mount. A uh, one-piece design with the center diff and motor mount together, and also a chassis and some other awesome upgrades. So definitely can't wait for that. And again, big shout out to HRB. These batteries did phenomenal. Uh, they have packed plenty of punch, lots of runtime on these 9500s. Uh, the X-Max has such a huge electronic system in it, it pretty much sucks the juice and the batteries. I got uh, some pretty decent runtime out of those. So again, big thanks to those guys. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to look at those or purchase them. The M2C Universal Plus 5mm hexes did awesome on here, but again, uh, M2C will be making a, a set just for this car. So it's a perfect fitment, and you can also run the uh, stock tires if you would like. But anyways, a whole lot of fun. We'll get out again soon. Until next time, RC Dude 81. Peace out.